Let's say you're doing your taxes and you need to search all the transactions for all the months in your checking account for the past year. Or you just need to check something in your bank account and need to use a range of dates to find those transactions or that transaction. This video will show you how fast it can be done. So let's get into it. First thing you want to do is go to your bank account. For this video, I'm going to use TD Bank, but it's very similar no matter what bank you use. Then you want to log in. Put in your username or access card number as well as your password. I have my information blurred out for obvious reasons. Then click login. Once you get to your accounts page, find the bank account you want to do your search in. For this, I'll use a checking account. You then should be in your account activity. Right in the middle of the page, there should be a search by month option. You should find it above a list of your last few expenses or transactions. Just left click on that and you'll see you can search by month or a range of months and years. For TD, you can search up to 18 months. If you need to go further back, you'll have to contact your bank. For this example, I'm going to do a search from January 1st, 2021 to December 31st, 2021. Once I've filled in all my information, I'm just going to left click on the search button that is over on the right hand side of the page. Now you'll see my transaction history below shows everything for the entire year of 2021. Now, some of you may need to print this information. Be careful and make sure you don't print it to a public printer or anywhere where your information could be shared or leaked out. To print, simply go up to the top of the page and roughly over on the right hand side, left click on print. If you're on a Mac, like I am, you first have to save your transaction history, which it'll save to a PDF. So save it to your computer and make sure you know where you have saved it. After that, you can open up the document and print it. Once you're all done, just go to logout, which should be around the top and to the right of your screen. And that's all there is to it. Be sure to like and subscribe so I can keep providing you with more free content.